Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my everyday makeup drawer for December. So in these videos, I go through my makeup collection and pick out products I haven't used in a while or show you guys new products in my collection that I want to test out for the month. This is going to be the last one of the year. And I didn't do one last month because the beginning of November was like super rough for me. I had a fever for like the first 10 days. I couldn't speak. I remember trying to film this intro and I couldn't get through a sentence. <laughs> so I had to go to the doctor like right after um, trying to film that because I realized how bad I was. But anyways, because I didn't film one last month, I still have all my products from October in that drawer. So I've been using them for a while now and I can let you guys know my thoughts about the products I picked out two months ago and have had in that drawer for the last couple months. And then pick out some new products in my collection. I've gotten a lot of PR recently that I could show you guys that I haven't gotten a chance to test out yet because there's been so many new makeup releases. So I definitely want to test out those products and put those in my everyday makeup drawer. So if you guys wanna see those products and all of the other products that I'm gonna be testing out for the month of December, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so here is what was in my everyday makeup drawer two months ago and I've just kept everything in here since there's some things that I've been using like every day and some things that I've like rarely touched or I just realized I wasn't really into right away so starting off with the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I still love this foundation but this shade in Fiji is like three shades too light for me so I end up um, mixing this in with a bunch of other foundations like anything that I have like a shade darker I just mix it in with that um, this is a really nice like medium coverage slightly dewy foundation it looks really natural it's a perfect like everyday foundation it's long wearing um, I definitely I'm just gonna use this up I'm like almost probably have like a third of it left so I'm gonna use it up and then buy it in a darker shade the Becca powder I just can't get myself to use this I feel like I bought it um, because it was gimmicky this is like their hydromis powder and it feels wet when you apply it on the skin and I don't mind that but if you guys can tell it's like a pink kind of tone and on me it just ends up drying like really pink um, and I have a really warm complexion so it just looks more obvious on me um, compared if you had like a neutral complexion or a cool tone complexion so that's something to keep in mind for sure. Like the powder is fine, but just that pink undertone, I'm not a big fan of. I fell in love all over again with this primer from Makeup Forever. It's an awesome hydrating primer. It's just called their hydrating primer. Super obsessed with it. I've been wearing it like every single day. I've also been loving um, the Smashbox hydrating primer. This one's more hydrating compared to the Smashbox one. This is more like a gel um, hydrating primer, and this is more of like a moisturizer that's a little tacky so love both of these same with the Too Faced foundation I've just used to buy so many foundations that were just like a shade off or maybe like um, I'm just a little bit more tan now but this is also like a little bit pink toned on me so I don't really wear this as much it's something that I have to mix in with other foundations right now but I do like this foundation still um, I haven't been into stick products in general so I never really wore the hourglass vanish stick or the Anastasia contour stick so for some reason I haven't been able to get myself to wear these stick products and I used to be so obsessed with them like more than anything else um, these I've kind of talked about all the time but this cover effects this is fairly new this is the cover effects power play concealer now I do like the formula just the applicator is a little bit weird. <laughs> so here is what the applicator looks like. So it's definitely not a precise applicator. So um, keep that in mind if you guys are interested in it. This is more of like a medium coverage concealer. It looks really nice under the eyes. It's definitely not full coverage on me. It's just the, the applicator is a little bit weird. It's fine for under my eyes, but like when I apply it down the center of my face, it's not as precise as I would like it to be. Um, still love Maybelline Master Chrome. Um, this is just like one of the best highlighters in my collection, and it's one of the more affordable ones. Still obsessed with Jouer Topaz. This used to be my holy grail, and it kind of still is. Um, it's just a beautiful formula. Love this highlighter like I just love the GUA formula it's super creamy super buttery um, I didn't wear too much of the bare minerals blush or the stellar beauty um, translucent powder I'm gonna keep that in my drawer for this month and then this is the Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced I had to kind of like force myself to wear this because it has like that pinky tone that ends up just looking more like I put a subtle blush all over my face instead of a bronzer so on my complexion like that pink 
does stand out a bit. It doesn't look like obvious or bad, but I'm never going to choose this over like my Too Faced Sweet Tea bronzer or my Chocolate Gold bronzer or any of my Becca bronzers. Some of these other things are a little bit random in here. I didn't really touch a lot of the lip products. I'm a creature of habit with my lip products. I actually have a few that I'm going to add to my drawer already set aside um, that I'll show you guys in a bit. But then we have some eyeshadow palettes. This is the Peach Punch eyeshadow palette from CoverGirl. This is actually really nice. So this is like a really pretty everyday um, drugstore eyeshadow palette. So definitely check this out if you guys are curious. Um, there's been some CoverGirl palettes in the past that I didn't like as much, but this formula is definitely way better. This Rimmel palette, like I just didn't have any interest in using it um, lately. I feel like it's kind of like a dupe for the Naked Heat palette, but because it's so similar, like I rather just reach for the Naked Heat. So I'm gonna put this away for now and then maybe revisit it in like another month or two because I'm just not wearing colors like this right now. I'm wearing more of like really shimmery, glittery tones. And then this e.l.f. Modern Metals Highlighter and Face Palette. This is beautiful. I think this is like 10 or $12. Has really pretty like everyday shades that I think are gonna be flattering to a lot of different complexions. So those are kind of all of the products that I wanted to focus on. Some of these concealers I've just been keeping in here because I don't have a lot of room of elsewhere. And then this ColourPop setting powder I wear all the time. I just keep it in here because I do. <laughs> um, I end up just putting it back in here like every time that I use it. I wear it all the time and I really like that. But. Um, I think that's gonna be everything that I want to share with you guys from this drawer because a lot of the other things like I didn't wear as much So I am gonna go ahead and pick out products for December. So starting off with this top drawer There's a couple things that I set aside that I recently got that I wanted to Use for this month. So these are from Lancome. These are brand new. Um, they're like cream powder eyeshadows slash like cheek products they come in a ton of different shades but i just pulled out like the shades that would be like pretty eyeshadows so i was swatching this yesterday and it just like swatches really nicely it feels super creamy that's just like a really super neutral tone and then here's more of like a bronzy shade i haven't applied these on my eyes yet but they just feel like super super creamy so I am definitely going to put those to the test. And then also from this drawer, I want to pull out my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I actually really like this. It reminds me of like the Benefit Gimme Brow, but this one's like a little bit more moussey. So it gives you a little bit more volume instead of like a gel slick back look to your brows. So I usually wear the um, L'Oreal brow gel. They have a couple different ones and I just rotate between them all the time. But I've been reaching for this one in the past like week or two. So I just want to make it official and have this be like my brow gel for the month and see if I end up liking it more than my L'Oreal one, which might be hard because that's like one of my holy grail products. So I'm also going to pull out this product from Cover FX. This is called their Shimmer Veil. I have not worn this in months. I got this in a boxy charm like over the summer and I loved it then. This is a gorgeous color. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's like the Stila Glitter and Glows, but it's um, not as glittery. It's more of like a shimmer. Um, so I definitely want to play with this one a bit more because I haven't worn it in a long time and I was like obsessed with it when I first got it. So that's going to be everything for this drawer. I go through these eyeliners all the time. I go through my mascaras all the time and you guys know I've been obsessed with glitter lately. So I go through all that all the time. I go through brow products all the time. Um, and then next we're moving into highlighters, bronzers, blushes. So a couple things that I have new in my collection. These from Too Faced are new, but they're kind of like a drier formula I told you guys in my review. But I also just got a Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop. I think I used to have a couple of these like maybe a year or two ago and then I decluttered them because I wasn't into cream highlighters but you guys know I love the ColourPop or um, the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters so I think I might actually be into this and this shade is fairly light this was sent to me from ColourPop um, but if I like the formula it's super super creamy um, if I like the formula then maybe I'll get more of like a bronzy tone this would also be like a really pretty inner corner highlight so this is the shade stole the show so definitely going to put that to the test and then Lancome also just sent over this face palette as part of their holiday collection this is the starlight sparkle face palette I just took this out of the packaging like a little bit ago so I'm not like super familiar um, with it but I swatched 
this highlighter and it's so gorgeous, so creamy. Like this feels amazing. And then this is like a shimmery bronzer. Yeah, it's like a little, little too shimmery maybe for a bronzer, but we'll try it out. But this formula feels so amazing. Like that highlighter, I need to try this out because I only just swatched it and it's so pretty. So definitely gonna put this to the test because when I first swatched this, like I was really impressed with the formula. I thought it was gonna be a lot drier for some reason, but it swatched so buttery. So definitely gonna try that out from Lancome. And then I also got this blush recently from PYT Beauty. I have not tried this out yet. I've been really bad about trying out like um, new PR products because there's just been a lot of releases that I've been putting to the test for reviews. So I'm definitely gonna try this out as well. This is like a newer brand and they're also available at Ulta. This is the shade Heartbeat and I think they have like three different um, blush shades but I wanted this one because it's a little bit more warm and I think that's gonna be it. I wanna keep it realistic because I'm sure I'm gonna be buying more makeup throughout the month. So next getting into foundations, primers, concealers and I already know I wanna pick out this primer. I just mentioned this recently in my dry skin favorites video and I do love this primer but I haven't worn it in a couple months um, because I've been so obsessed with my Origins cooling primer that's like my holy grail and then also my makeup forever primer so I'm gonna reach for this especially because my skin is definitely like drier and like it feels dull now and this has a little bit of like a a shimmer to it so it's gonna just hopefully help me look less dull <laughs> so I'm gonna um, be using this it's like a great winter primer because it's super hydrating um, foundation let's go with I feel like I always rotate between the same like five but I just have my favorite so <laughs> let's go with the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation I pick this like every couple months this is a really great full coverage matte foundation that is comfortable the shade's slightly beige on me, like it has more of a neutral undertone, but it's definitely not so far off like some of my other foundations, like I could just um, apply some bronzer and make it the perfect match. So I am going to go ahead and add this. I've just been so into my Too Faced foundation right now that it's so hard for me to stray from that. So I'm just trying to pick out other products that are like live up to that hype for me. Um, I love my Stellar Beauty foundation as well, but I have, I had that in my drawer recently, like in the past two or three months. Um, for concealer, let's actually go with the NARS concealer because I know that I love this concealer and I've just been wearing my Jouer one nonstop and I wanna see how the formulas compare to each other. So I'm gonna get back on this because it's been a while since I wore that concealer. Um, and is there anything else? I feel like the foundations and everything are so hard for me because I'm so obsessed with my current foundation routine that I can't stray away from it. Let me also pick out my Cover FX powder because I know that I love this, but I've just been wearing my Too Faced one nonstop, and this one's like halfway used, so maybe I can get closer to it and keep it in my drawer until I use it all the way up. All right, so next getting into eyeshadow palettes. You guys know I just did two huge declutters of my eyeshadow palettes, and I still need to figure out a way to best organize my palettes. I might actually just rearrange my whole makeup collection because I feel like I'm two drawers might not be enough. I need to, yeah, I just need to reorganize my palettes and find out like the best system for them because right now it's just kind of like super, super random. But anyways, there are a couple palettes that I wanted to focus on this month. This one from Ace Beauty. This is the Grandiose palette. I got this in a boxy charm like two months ago. Um, I just started wearing this like a week or two ago and it's so pretty like the formula is gorgeous even like the matte shades are like super creamy super pigmented really really beautiful palette so definitely need to wear this more it's like super like the formula is just like very intense like the pigmentation um, and it applies so easily too. like you don't have to blend too much or like anything like that. So if you guys have been curious about this brand, definitely try it out because the formula is amazing, the quality is amazing. I definitely wanna try out more from them. All right, and then let's also pick out the palette that I almost decluttered a couple weeks ago. And I kind of shocked myself that I almost decluttered this because I'm like, 
This was an awesome formula. I was really enjoying this palette, but I totally forgot like I had it in my collection. So I definitely need to start using it again because it has all of my like staple everyday colors. So I think it's gonna be really easy for me to like reach for this palette once I have it like in sight every day. So definitely gonna reach for this too. I'm only gonna pick out those two palettes for this month because I know that I'm still gonna play with the um, Pretty Ridge palette from Too Faced, the James, Morphe palette, like I still wanna do more Instagram tutorials with those palettes. I have a bunch of newer palettes here and there's a lot of releases coming up that I'm gonna be reviewing in like the next two weeks as well. And then lastly, getting into my face palette. So there's a couple like I wear every single day. Well, there's really one that I wear every single day right now. Um, that's the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Book Volume 3. Like I cannot get enough of that. I got this in September, like late September, and that's how much bronzer I've put on my face since then. I've been wearing this every single day, so I'm gonna see if there's someone else that I want to use. My other Kevin Aquan palette. <laughs> um, let's see, let's actually go with, let's go ahead and pull out this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This has a really nice light bronzer and a couple different blushes, especially this one I really, really like. But then I also want a contour shade. I guess I'll also pull out the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I never ever reach for this palette. Um, it's just such a big and bulky palette. <laughs> But this is like super, super new looking still because I never really reached for it compared to like my Kevin Aquan palettes or my Smashbox Cali Contour. But this still has really nice shades, so I need to like give this a second chance. I didn't dislike it at all, um, but I just love my Kevin Aquan palette so much. So let's go ahead and pull this out too. It is a good palette, but there's just like other things that I'm obsessed with, so I definitely need to use this more. It's just like such a heavy, bulky palette. That's the theme. like. Palettes like this Kevin Aquan one, Anastasia, my Laura palette, like I feel like those are just like quick and easy for me to use compared to something that has like more weight to it. I don't know, that's like a really bad excuse. <laughs> Let me know if you guys feel the same way, like if the packaging um, affects like how much you use a certain product, like if it's lightweight, quick packaging. I just think of it as quick because I just like plop it open and whatever and this I have to like click open and chip a nail. But um, yeah, those are going to be the two palettes that I pick out for this drawer. Alright guys, so this is everything that I'm picking out for the month of December. I feel like I kept it fairly light because I'm just like in a really good routine with my face products and I know I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of products in the upcoming weeks, but there's just like been a few different PR products that I've definitely wanted to test out, like these products from Lancome, the PYT Beauty Blush, and then I just threw in um, those lipsticks I mentioned from Charlotte Tilbury, and my favorites, the shade Pillow Talk is like my current favorite. I've been wearing this all the time. It's super, super gorgeous. I'll have this linked below. It's like a really gorgeous, glossy, light lipstick. And then they also have a couple different shades, but these are the ones that I have. This one is like super vampy. So I want to see if I can rock like a vampy glossy lip because I really just do darker tones that are matte. And then I also have the shade Happy Lips. And this is like a corally color. So I'm gonna test all of those out. I also have a new ColourPop lipstick that they just sent over. This is the shade Mind Trick. And this is like a brick tone color. So I think it'll look really pretty with some of um, the eye looks I can do with like the Ace Beauty palette or even like the Mario palette. So those are some new lip products. Oh, and also this one from um, Beauty by Pop Sugar. This is like a metallic lipstick. Really, really pretty color too. It's a pink shade. It's actually a very like frosty kind of color, but um, I've been wearing it and it doesn't look like overly frosty or metallic. It is pretty wearable. So this is called their Gem Stick Lipstick in the color Precious Pink. So I'll let you guys know if I end up like really loving this formula or I forget about it in a couple days. I've been just trying it out for like the last like two or three days to see if I um, wanted to put it in my drawer for the month. But those are like additional lip products that I wanted to show you guys that are newer. But that's going to be everything for my everyday makeup drawer for December. Definitely let me know what you guys are testing out for this month in the comments down below and if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye